Hello folks, welcome back to another edition of Florida Cracker Guitar Tips. Um, I've got my 1980s era Rickenbacker 360. Beautiful guitar. Uh, I've, I've played this thing to death and it still plays. I dug it out. Of the, I haven't played it in probably 15 years that much, but uh, I used to play it all the time every day. Uh, it's one of my favorite guitars. Um, I was uh, So we're going to do an REM song and I thought, well, I'll break this out and, uh, and use it. I'm playing through a little Vox battery powered amp. I love it. Um, we're going to do one of my favorite REM songs. It's Driver 8. Um, and I'll go through some of the, uh, some of my interpretation of what's going on and, uh, you know, whether it's accurate or not, that's fine. Um, it, it's just a couple little tricks that I, uh, or a couple little licks or whatever I throw in, um, to make it interesting for me to play it. <clears throat> anyway, it's just a great intro riff. I'll, um, walk through it here. Uh, not much, uh, nothing fancy going on with my right hand. I just got a standard heavy fender pick and, uh. So I won't focus on the uh, on my right hand. Uh, anyway, so it kind of starts out in E minor shape. So it's basically. Walking up the E string to the A string on the B, second fret, back landing back on you know B, A, to the C on the third fret. Then you slide up on the D string to the fifth fret and hit your open B open uh, B string. And then you're gonna use your open G string and with your you know finger at the fifth fret, which is basically you're playing a G. So you're just doing a walk down. are pretty simple except there's a really cool uh, D inversion in this song that um, uh, I really love and I use it a lot in a lot of different songs anyway uh, the chords are basically your E minor walls are built up A minor stone by stone so it's walls are built up stone by stone so the chords are E minor A minor play that I play a full G chord with my uh, you know ring finger on the B string at the third fret and my pinky on the E string at the third fret I just like that fat it's just a fat G chord so and then I do a you know there's a D but what I do is play a D with my ring f my middle finger and my pinky and I only play kind of a partial D chord and then I, I, I lay my pointer finger on the uh, bottom E string at the F sharp position. So I'll play the uh, the four chords here. So it's E, <coughs> e minor. Let's see. Very nice pattern because that G kind of walks down to that that uh, D inversion with the uh, with your uh, pointer uh, on the uh, F sharp on the e, bottom E string, and then it kind of resolves back to the E minor again. Clean up 
damp a little bit real quick. It's a little too little too dirty. But anyway, um, there's, so the change, there's a, a D and a C, and I do a D uh, a little bit differently. You, know, you get a bar D here, uh, your finger at the fifth fret. What I do here is I, 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 I land my pointer finger on the A string at the fifth fret, and then, and then play the open D under it. And then I skip, you know, I skip that open D string and land my uh, ring and pointer finger, or my pinky, my ring and pinky, at the uh, seventh fret on the G and the B string. So I, I'm playing that open, I'm kind of skipping that open D and playing. It's kind of an interesting, maybe a 12 stringish kind of sound, but. And then your your C chord. And I, I I just lift my finger on the B string. And then you do a walk down with your C. So we'll do the walk down with the C. Pretty simple. Let's see here. And that's just a E minor and then F sharp uh, point you know pointer finger on the E string at the F sharp position. And then I'm playing the A and the D string open. And then playing a partial, you know, your partial G chord. finger on the A minor shape, just kind of give it that, uh, I don't know, give it some rhythm. Thank you very much.